This is an example problem on units conversion. It reads, if the specific weight, or weight per volume, also known as the unit weight, of brass is 520 pounds per cubic feet, find its density, which is mass per volume, in SI units. I've set up my engineering paper with my given and find information. Let's think about what we're trying to find. The density of brass in SI units will be mass per volume. And mass in SI units is going to be in kilograms, and volume is generally going to be in cubic meters. So we need to convert from 520 pounds per cubic feet to kilograms per cubic meter. Let's start by converting 520 pounds per cubic feet to SI units. One pound is equivalent to 4.4482 newtons, and one foot is equivalent to 0 0.3048 meters. But we need cubic feet, so we're going to cube the one, cube the feet, cube the meters, and cube the 0 0.3048 conversion factor. And calculating that gives us 81,685 newtons per meters cubed. Now this number is still a specific weight, not a density. We need to convert Newton's force into kilograms mass. Let's look at the equations we have available. First we know that weight is equal to mass times the gravitational constant. We can rewrite that to solve for mass. Our gravitational constant is 9.81 meters per second squared. And we know that 1 newton is equal to 1 kilogram meter per second squared. I'll take my answer from above and multiply it by the inverse of the gravitational constant. And I'll move 1 newton down by the second squared and include that in my conversion factor. Let's see what happens to our units. Notice that second squared cancels out, one of our meters cancels out, and our newtons cancel out. We're left with kilograms per meters cubed. We're almost there. There's just one more thing that we need to do. We want to get an answer that's between 1 and 1,000. If we recognize that 1 megagram is equal to 1,000 kilograms, then we can simplify our answer to 8.33 megagrams per cubic meter. And we're done.